Here's another trick to help you do estimation problems. Let's imagine you're trying to estimate some number and you've got no idea where to start. But often you can break down your problem into smaller sub-problems. And you could estimate that if you knew, say, two other things. And maybe this other minor thing over here, you could estimate that if you know three other things. And what you do is you keep breaking down everything you can't solve into smaller things and smaller things until eventually the tips of the tree are things you can estimate using your general knowledge. So let me give you an example of an estimation problem that I actually had to do as part of my work a few years ago, which was to estimate how many grains of sand there are on Earth. That's the big problem, the number sand on Earth. I mean, it's clearly a very large number, but is it very large 10 to the 10, or very large 10 to the 20, or very large 10 to the 30? That's what I wanted to work it out. Okay. So it's pretty obvious you can split this up into working out the total volume of sand on Earth and the volume of one grain. If you divide this by that, that will tell you how many grains of sand there are. Volume of one grain, well, we can work that out if we assume a radius of a typical grain. Of course, not all sand grains are going to be the same size, and they're not perfect spheres, but that doesn't, really, doesn't matter at the ninja physics level of accuracy. And the radius, probably about one millimeter. Again, it's not going to be spot on, but it won't be too far wrong. So that's fairly easy. Volume of sand is a bit harder. I mean, where do you get sand? Well, you clearly get it on beaches, and you get it on deserts. Okay, so. For a beach, you might want to work out how many beaches there are on Earth. What's the total length? Um, you could do that from the length of coastline. And typical volume per km of beach. Which will depend on how wide the beach is and how deep the sand is. And these are all things you can work out. Length of a coastline, you might estimate the, you know, for example, that Australia's about 4,000 kilometres on a side, so you treat it as a square 4,000 each side, and then assume that maybe, I don't know, 10% of that coastline is beach, as opposed to mangrove swamp or cliff or something like that. It may not be spot on, but it won't be too far wrong. And then multiply by the number of other continents, maybe a bit of a bigger factor for Asia. Volume per, of, per kilometre of beach, well, we know roughly how wide a beach is, um, it takes a few steps, maybe several steps to get across, but it's certainly not a kilometre for most beaches, it's certainly more than 10 metres. How deep? Well, it's going to be a few metres deep, I imagine, the sand. So we can estimate all these things to the order of magnitude. Similarly for deserts, you could say, uh, how big are the deserts? You might come to know that the Sahara Desert is 10,000 kilometres across and about 4,000 kilometres wide, a few times bigger than Australia. Um, or you can look at, assume some fraction of the world's land surface area, then assume what fraction, so area of deserts, and fraction that's sand, and so on. And therefore, the seemingly impossible problem could be broken down into things that you have at least some hope of estimating.